there. Um, high value men or, or just average dudes, okay? I see this problem. Women have accessibility to men 24 seven now with social media, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, if they're doing that, um, <clears throat> LinkedIn. <coughs> and ever since this COVID situation, when the lockdowns came, <coughs> um, everybody's been digitized. We're turning into these AI robots, right? We're art artificial intelligent human beings. <coughs> We're living off of our phones. So guys, a couple things. Um, obviously when you meet these, these women, you, you don't, they don't know your, your, your success level, right? And, and women look at men as success objects. It is what it is. Okay. I, I've, I've had in the last week, seven sessions with women and men, <coughs> high value men, regular women, average dudes. And it's the same. It's the same. Whether we want to admit it or not, Men are success objects, women are sex objects. It is what it is, okay? You can try to spin it any way you want, it is what it is. <clears throat> so men, your value before you meet a woman, your value when you're engaging in a woman, when, you're, when you're, you're, you're trying to date a woman, a man's value right now in the current marketplace is attention. So here's one thing that I've noticed a lot of guys do is they give the women they like way too much attention when it's not deserved. Um, you know, you might like a couple pictures on Instagram, send her DM, whatever, text her once, ask her out. If the girl doesn't respond, leave her alone. She's getting attention from 50 dudes a day. 50 men a day are, are DMing her. She's very attractive and beautiful. She's getting messages all the time. Guys liking 2,000 pictures, liking the same picture, 200 times, unliking it, liking it, send her to DMs, uh, you know, asking her out, calling her, stalking her on Facebook. Guys, your value as a man is your availability and attention. Do not give your attention to an undeserving woman. And don't be too available. What's your value? I'm going to give you an example. Gold. For example, gold is rare. There's only so much of it. And it's worth a lot of money based on the value or the accessibility of it, right? Um, just like diamonds, right? Diamonds, if there was a million thousand diamonds, they wouldn't be worth as much. Oh, well, they probably would be because people want to use a rock to get married, right? And it's a, let me get you a coal and pay $10,000 for a ring. It's ridiculous, right? But your availability as a man sets your value and the attention sets your value. Those are two things you gotta remember. Don't be too available and don't give too much attention. Now, if your mindset is, well, if I don't, if I don't keep trying, she's gonna say no. She already said no because she lost respect because you're too available. You're like a used car, a $5,000 used car. You know what? Not everybody's lining up to get a $5,000 used car. Now, when I was in high school, that $5,000 used car would have been an awesome car because the car I got when I was in high school was a lot less than that. It was a piece of shit. That being said, your value is going to be based on your availability, your accessibility, right? And the attention you give. Do not give the attention. So what I want you guys to do this week is understand this. If a woman wants to talk to you, if she likes you, she's going to engage. She didn't lose your phone number. She didn't misplace the text. She didn't forget to DM you. Maybe she forgot to DM you, but she's, if a woman wants to get a hold of you, she's going to get a hold of you, right? So don't keep messaging her. Don't keep DMing her. If she forgets about you, oh, well, you weren't that valuable to begin with. I want you to understand this. 100% of nothing's nothing. My mindset is if she doesn't get back to me, it's her loss. That's my mindset, right? When, when, when me and Puma are hanging out with, with women and friends, and they don't get back to me, oh, well, I don't care. Why? Because I don't care. I really don't care. And then, they, oh, I wanted to go to dinner with you guys. I want to hang out with you guys. Oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. I forgot to text. Oh, well, you're lost. I don't care. Why? Because I already have something of value, right? So you have to, your value is yourself. How do you value yourself on a scale of one to 10? We're not all 10s, but you got to think of yourself as a highly valued man. 
and start acting the part. And don't be so desperate to go on a date with that one girl. Make sure you have an abundant supply of women that you're reaching out to and you're trying to engage with that you want to date. That way, once one cancels or, or gets flaky, it's not a loss. You see, it's not a loss. 100% of nothing's nothing, right? Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Try it, doesn't work, fired. Well, oh, uh, uh, you, you didn't get back to me. No, 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 no. Here's the text. I tell, oh, I'm really bad at getting back to you. No, you didn't get back to me because I'm of zero value. I'm not important, right? <clears throat> but if you have five, six, seven women that you're engaged with, you're constantly in communication with here and there and trying to date. That fourth girl that forgets to get back to you, she doesn't mean squat to you. You you she's you forget about her. But if you only have one woman that you're trying to engage with, now you got a problem. Because she knows you're too available. That's unattractive. She knows you're desperate. That's unattractive. Right? You're giving too much attention. That's unattractive. So you have to take a step back and say, wait a minute, how is my value from her eyes? <clears throat> you ever notice when you get in a relationship, men, that all of a sudden women come out of the woodwork? I remember when I was single before I was dating Puma, <clears throat> I, uh, I was dating these girls in Seattle and, you know, playing the, playing the typical Seattle girl game, right? You know, and all of a sudden... I stopped communicating. Me and Puma built this relationship. <clears throat> she ends up on my Facebook and Instagram, and I show you these me messages from these girls. Oh, I didn't know you were dating somebody. I wasn't dating anybody. Well, you thought I was going to chase you? You thought I was desperate? You thought I was really available all the time? See, they didn't have the right value of me. I didn't create the 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 perception. Right? So... Now they're like, oh, well, I didn't know if you would have called. No, I already tried calling you. I already texted you. I'm not chasing you. I'm high valued. I don't need to do that. <clears throat> I don't need to do that. That's an average dude. I'm not going to do that. And so their loss, my gain, right? That's the mindset you have to have as a man. Do not chase. Don't be too available. Are you with me? And don't give too much attention. Hope that helps, guys. We'll see you soon. Please follow and subscribe on YouTube. Turn on your notification indicator. <clears throat> this is a new channel I'm starting up. The podcast studio is being created. It's not done yet. I'm working on it slowly but surely. But we're going to have guests on the show um, via Zoom. Uh, maybe guests in person. People will be calling in. If you have any questions or any topics you want me to cover <clears throat> from a woman's perspective and what, what, what women are trying to do, men's perspective, from a man, what women want in a man, vice versa. Let me know. I'd like to cover those topics. We're a growing channel. We want to make this thing happen. Hope this makes sense. Stay strong. We'll see you soon.